okay uh, welcome to the uh, third part of this uh, tutorial on database management system today we will be dealing with uh, database models so I have told you in the previous tutorials that uh, what is a data data is just a collection of raw facts nothing more than that uh, which does not have any meaning but if we try to unify them and relate them we will get an information out of it fine the thing is uh, we store this data in uh, in tables right in uh, small small tables individual data and uh, these are these are these are individual data fine these are datas and we we create we create several other tables and we try to relate them we try to relate these tables okay so while relating this we get an information so suppose for example if you are storing uh, any d detail about uh, yourself suppose this table describes your personal details and this table describes your uh, I don't know some kind of uh, 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 some uh, your address fine address details all these things so or edu education details whatever so uh, what happens over here is that we create an information so that if, if when you type when you when you analyze these tables we get information that uh, about you so this is how an uh, information is created from the data individual data uh, but the problem is that uh, there is uh, several ways okay of, of this uh, arranging this data so what is what is actually the database model database model is uh, models are different approaches of organizing the data in a systematic manner fine it defines how uh, how data are connected to each other fine so i've given you all the uh, this is uh, the list of the three uh, four uh, database models that we will be dealing today uh, the first of all is the hierarchical uh, second is network so third is object oriented database models and the fourth is relational database model okay but uh, first of all we uh, flat file based model was introduced okay uh, it was uh, just a simple like uh, uh, they used to use all these uh, C programming so okay to deal with this uh, uh, to deal with this flat file suppose uh, if you are asked to do uh, programming C to create a library management system right so you will go you're going to create a um, uh, program you can write some program and you're going to store that uh, whatever uh, file or whatever input you're uh, taking in a uh, in a in a file fine using uh, all these file operations all file codings so it is quite uh, simple but the thing is uh, this uh, this file system is very much prone to this file system is very much prone to duplication and updation so that's why it is not uh, actually needed it's uh, it's not of use or very much it's not scientific i will say so so actually the scientist has just improved that version file version into some other versions okay so uh, hierarchical model is uh, actually you can see you can understand by the name it's uh, the tree based model it contains a root and two branches break out of it and two branches comes out of that and keeps on branching till all the uh, system all the uh, information are Im inserted in the system fine so this is the uh, branch kind of model okay now uh, the thing is that what is a uh, hierarchical model you can uh, say that it is uh, the model that can arrange uh, itself in a tree structure or a parent child model okay so this type of uh, model was generally used during the time of uh, mainframe computers and all those time all those eras okay so uh, how the system how they used to arrange it or uh, suppose if you just draw a uh, table on, on suppose any department okay so department and okay so if this is some kind of department table department and this is a student and uh, this is about the professors and the department ID and uh, department ID and suppose this is some um, some 
some CT or something like that. Okay, C. So professors, we're gonna break it. Professors, professors will break into some other parts. Suppose uh, professors will have their name and ID and uh, their uh, their unit here their sections uh, the specialization and whereas uh, in uh, students they will also have uh, their same thing their ID and their name and their unit so you can understand so this is for the professors P this is for the students and this is for the departments okay now the thing is again you can differentiate the name into two parts first is uh, you can divide it into some kind of ID this ID this ID will come over here this I and okay first name first name and this this will be divided into some um, this is also I this will be divided into so last name the same case will go with uh, you can say the professors also uh, suppose this is the I part this is the I part this is the I part this I part will come over here and so this is the first name and uh, this is the last name I'm just demonstrating so it's no use of taking several input for uh, this first name and last name. I'm just explaining to you how this uh, model works. Okay, now see you can see the structure is. Uh, this is the root part. This is the root part. The root is divided into the parent-child formation. Okay, so here the parent is. Uh, here the parent is the professor, and the professor is. Uh, uh, the whole detail of the professor comes over here. Fine same case the whole detail of the students comes over here again the whole detail of students name comes up from here so this is a parent child relationship as you can understand and easily see fine now uh, the second part this is this is basically the hierarchical model nothing more than that now what is a network model network you, as you can understand by the name itself okay the name shows that it is a kind of a graph so network model is what it uh, actually the entities are organized in the form of a graph okay and uh, with some um, uh, so that the entities can be accessed from several path okay so if this is a graph and so this you can understand what is a graph right so this is these are all so suppose these are all nodes these are all separate tables and data can be a easily accessed from one another so i'll give you an example how it works okay so the, if you just consider this to be a department uh, table fine this is the department table and uh, i'll give suppose department table says department name number and the second is department name and here it is student table suppose this is for students uh, students goes with this uh, ID student ID specific ID for the student and this is for the student name student name okay and this is for the department name DN okay I will write D over here also DN fine and then I uh, suppose uh, uh, what else course course of the study and uh, here is a separate table for the course uh, in which these uh, people are studying over here so suppose this is the course name and uh, this is the name of the department in which the courses are taught and so you can see there you can create thousands of nodes like that so how is it related you can see that this department re name is related to this department is related to this and department is related to this you can see this this one is relation uh, this one is another relation this one is another relation fine so uh, network models works for this uh, uh, according to the graph theory okay the same it is same as that of a uh, of a hierarchical model only the thing is that uh, the all the uh, all the sub tables are connected to each other that is it but uh, 
it is much more flexible than the hierarchical model it was invented in 1969 now but the drawback of this type of model is that it, it, it has a system complexity system complexity you can understand that uh, some pointers are used so these po these are the pointers several pointers are used to point to different uh, uh, you can say different uh, tables so this uh, this department name so once it is pointed to this uh, uh, this uh, course department name and it is uh, the student department name also points it to the so you can see you can understand a lot of pointer is used to point to this and that and all these things this makes the system complex okay and the saying second thing is lack of uh, independence okay structural independence the interesting thing about the object oriented model is that it is object based okay object in, in the sense that it is object oriented uh, thing so what is that so I'm going to ex give you an example suppose if you take the department I'm taking the department table uh, again okay so you just take the department table and break it into some other table this is the main table okay this is the main table oh and this is suppose course this is for the students and this is for the professor and this is for uh, some uh, location okay so what happens over here you, you take a you take this course okay the whole detail of the course is inserted into this table now when you select this the course course this is the course name and course id and this is course uh, suppose uh, uh, whatever uh, you can say course location uh, the building okay where it is uh, done again you can divide it over here building means you can divide the uh, course uh, course building name building name bd bn building in name and uh, address and uh, code so what is happening see course this is the main table d and this is the courses table this is the location table so every time i will go, I'm, i will access this so this will be d.c fine so all will be d the whole will be based on department the D will be in front of everything D dot that means D is the object over here again when I will exp access this suppose I'm accessing this location so what will I be accessing D dot C dot L that means departments course location and again if I am accessing uh, suppose uh, suppose uh, suppose this this part so what will I access so D dot c dot l dot bn so this is the whole co object oriented concept so we get a hint of relational database management system also but uh, you can s but this is kind of uh, for object based you can say that the object is over here is d and object over here is c uh, this is the class concept so this this is the class actually and I have, I have considered this to be the objects okay and these are the objects of these classes uh, on the basis of this so if you want to access BN how will you come so from department courses you will have to come to the suppose location and from location again BN so this is the path by which you have to access the thing so this is the object oriented model okay and uh, the last of all is the relational model now what is the relational model it is it consists of a table fine a table two dimensional table where each uh, column acts as an entity okay so entity and each uh, row acts as a separate individual records individual data so this is called the entity over here e and these are called tuples t okay so what if i want to join two tables so again i'm taking the department uh, table in order to join suppose so i will not be giving uh, some i'll be taking only some uh, some columns over here some entities not extra entities so if this is the department table and if this is the so was what then course table fine so department has some uh, suppose department uh, uh, department ID 
and department uh, whatever uh, course and department location and the department uh, course ID and this is the course and uh, this is the suppose course uh, uh, professors who, who teaches over there so what is there so if I want to relate so I have a common entity over here this this is the common entity which act as a key fine this acts as a key in order to join two tables and now the whole uh, relational database management system is based on this relational model uh, okay so we'll be dealing with this uh, uh, whole relational uh, model in our next tutorials and uh, continued one so uh, this is the simplest thing this is uh, just the introduction of the relational model we'll be dealing with the later parts okay so uh, up to this thank you very much for watching and I hope it is enough for this uh, introduction thank you